Hello and welcome back to more Surviving Mars with me, LG. Um, we've moved on a couple of days uh, from the last video, not much. I've uh, done a little few things, built some uh, oxygen tanks over here, holding hands. Oh, lovely. We've got a bunch of uh, important messages come up and it's raining! Yes, we have rain on Mars. My terraforming is starting to pay off. Okay, it's toxic. You know, toxic. We won't, you know, we won't mention that bit. But it's raining. Um, yeah. So, coming along on these things, we've got rivers and rivers, lakes to do. Uh, a couple of things. I've built some concrete towers. I'm just going to knock this one down because it's not quite in alignment with the other one. We'll move it back a bit. Uh, this thing needs a water pipe. Have a look at these messages that have all popped up. And I've got power leaks absolutely everywhere. Right, uh, let's have a look at the toxic rain. So rains with uh, warming up and pumping of potent greenhouse gases into the newly created atmosphere of Mars comes natural precipitation rains. Initially, because of the gases used, these rains will be toxic. But as the quality of the atmosphere improves, pure rainfall will take hold. Toxic rains will harm any l plant life struggling to survive in the harsh Martian soil and degrade even further. They create toxic pools where nothing grows. Toxic pools may be cleaned up by drones. Pure rain, rainfall, however, is greatly beneficial to plants and will improve the local soil quality. So, as far as I understand, we have to go through a period of toxic rains. I'm still getting the dust devils, even with the um, electric stones going. I thought they stopped them. They must have just reduced them more. Okay, let's have a look at this one. Important greenhouse gases. Just a few of the falling rocks delivered to the autonomous crafts from Earth were visible to the naked eye. Large scale projects. These are some of the projects that I sent up. Um, it's been completed. Several hundred tons of rocks used to suck out and store greenhouse gases from the atmosphere have been delivered to the surface of Mars. By crash landing them all over the planet with triggered chemical reaction, it dissolves the rocks and contributes towards the thickening of the Martian atmosphere. Good, yes, we did a gases one. So we got 2% on the atmosphere, 33 on temp, five on water still. We're just getting the vegetation up with the early seeding of stuff. I've got the game paused, you can actually see the rain. Right, let's unpause it. While I down a can of Coke. Yeah, not raining. So toxic pools will get cleaned up by the drones. Okay. Uh, I've got leaks absolutely everywhere. I'm having a bit of a nightmare with these dust devils. They're knocking out all this stuff and uh, been trying to connect up all stuff the scrubbers offline the hubs offline you know I keep trying to move stuff to save it I know I can hide my drones but then the machine gets hit and everything goes out if we're lucky and I've got some more leaks did have some leaks down south. Down south, see, look, we're getting this green toxic mist. Oh, what a lovely sight. <laughs> look at that. Toxic, toxic rain. It's just what you wanted to see, people. Right. So down here, I've had uh, power cuts and dust devils. Um, we've got a couple cedars down here now. Mega dome planned out, another hub, and I'm just putting up some scrubbers and repairing these leaks. I've got a battery plugged into this network because it doesn't have one at the moment, so 
atomic accumulator, otherwise known as a Duracell battery. Ah, oh, we should all do the toxic rain dance. Okay, the scrubber is coming online. Usually the word scrubber in, uh, in Britain's not a really uh, lovable term. You scrubber. But in this game, we love our scrubbers. But if you've got scrubbers in this game, you are rocking and rolling. It loves me a good scrubber. Okay, got the other one going. This will take a while to get some juice in it. Um, only thing is, I'm wondering, I'm going to do another power cable. So I'm having, having problems with my dust devils. If it knocks out the other circuit, I'm not even getting power to the hub. So we'll, we'll power that a second way. Okay, if that hub is back working, which it is, let's get this guy over here. And you can build these two buildings. Now down here, all this got knocked out as well. So I need one drone. One drone, you'll do. Come on. And come down here and repair this bad boy. Toxic rain lasts for 16 hours. Oh no, this got knocked out. Good, got a drone that's alive. He can repair it. If he can repair it, they can self repair themselves. They did a pretty good job making it look offline. Although sometimes it's far, hard to find the vehicles when they're offline because it's the same colour as the new zoomed out. You're like, where is it? Where is it? It's not a brilliant colour. Right. Come on, baby. Come back to life. So yeah, I've got some really uh, key tech we're still waiting to queue up. With all this stuff is is kind of uh, needed. Farming, and drone print. I do need more drones. That's about to finish. I want to get the lakes going. Some more terraforming stuff. They're all quite big ones though. 15, 20,000, 14,000 on the research. So we've got a whole bunch. Um, maybe not this video, but another video. I th I well, I've got to actually get these done. We've, I'd like to get the large stations done and then maybe plan out a few networks. Um, I think really when we've got domes in other sections, that's probably when that will be more useful. We can shuttle resources and people between, between the cities. Um, but yeah, some of these cheaper ones like this one and stuff are still gonna be more beneficial. So, we're waiting for those to come in, and uh, I think these rockets... Research complete. Yeah, this is ready to load. Drone printing is done. Okay, let's put this... Let's land this rocket. And this one is doing capturing ice asteroids. Uh, um... I've been making a little bit of money off the TV centre, um, so I think we'll, we're close to probably buying another rocket. Because if we can keep fed it with fuel, which is okay at the moment, we're looking at 120, 190. I really probably could do, start whacking these up every three of these, I could do with another one of these have a look how much resources is it this fuel
8, 8 and 12. It consumes 15 power and water and maintenance. Yeah, the resources aren't a problem, the consumption's a little bit. Uh, where's this scrubber that I've got? I've got one there. So if I put one... cost me repairs right so yeah we just got 300 million for the bachelor mars episode one good help us with another rocket yeah because i, I can once you start getting three four five six rockets um i can start to automate some of them keep doing missions uh, what are we up to on metals now production's 15 is still a bit slow quite like to get that up to 25 or so I mean each rocket could be 30 we can make some money by selling that of course um, let's have a look I think the automated mo mode that only does uh, trips to Earth and back. Let's have a look. What could it go on its next one? We can keep doing these. These are quite a costly way of doing it if you haven't got the tech to, to do. Uh, I mean, we do need more water. At 600 million, 30 fuel. That would be quite good. I do need some more atmosphere. Uh, let's do that. That's 600 million. This one. Resources, probably not important. And general meteor showers. No, this, this would be the next most useful one. Right, so we've just completed the ice asteroids. We're going to keep repeating these. So let's put it up to 10. We can do it again. this one that's just catching meteors that's this thing at the top 100 fuel 15 of the five percent yeah well I've already sent that on a mission so I need I need the other rockets. We need more people as well. We certainly need more people. We're still struggling for people. We're up to 18, so we can almost get another 22 <coughs> on the way. I don't, that one up there, send. choose the rocket properly okay let's see if we can fix these leaks is this fixed now it is it's moved away on the depot that I was gonna I was trying to do this stuff out here and I need to move them back over here
I think I need a battery over here because when the power gets knocked out uh, I think if we build an acumic atomic acumic <laughs> atomic where is it power uh, I gotta put it right next to the scrubber Because hopefully if the power gets knocked out like this and this, this gets full, it will still supply power at least to the hub and the hub can then repair what's going on. I've uh, got rather brittle networks out here. That scrubber is not expanded. another one out here. I need to put it near the scrubber so let's put it there. Right, these guys aren't working because it's not got power. So they won't go and get stuff. Need to fix these leaks which are being done. He automated this guy, yep. Three hours left on the toxic rain. <clears throat> I keep wanting to burst into song of Prince's Purple Rain. <laughs> toxic rain, toxic rain. No, I won't. I won't submit to you. I wish I could sing. I've got probably the worst voice ever. Do you ever get that, you know, sort of, sort of jealous, jealous with others, or I don't know what, what it disappointed with yourself, you know. Some people are blessed with, you know, amazing looks or wonderful voice. Some natural talent. Yeah, I think, you know, apart from, you know, family and stuff like that, I think obviously the my biggest sort of achievement or skill at the time was when I learnt to fly and was a PPL pilot, but uh, many years ago now, but I can't say that would have been a natural. Not like people who can play. I think instrument, I tried playing instruments and stuff when I was a young kid, but I know, never, never really was very good at it and then didn't stick with it, but I guess instruments and stuff, that's just, that is just practice and teaching. But I think if you're pretty much tone deaf and got no voice, then I'm sure professionals can always turn a bad person into less bad. But if you haven't got it, you haven't got it. Right, so that's uh, batteries going up, the scrubber's on, and, and this is back on now because of the power. So they're going to build that battery. How much ne uh, twenty-five hundred? Oh. Yeah, a hundred, hundred and twenty-five power there, and that's sixty plus all of this stuff. I kind of need some more, really. Um, I can't. Just have to put some more of these out. I might put some just out this way so they're not quite in the same place. Let's put four of these out here. Because all of this takes power. I mean, this thing's 12. That's three. Okay, if that is going, if I move him kind of want to keep him in range of this though, but that's not really going to be possible. Try 
and get this built. I was thinking of doing tunnels instead of having the cave, but it's for a single crystal and then there's another single down here. Oh, this is ready. I hate the dust devils. Okay, so that is going on the project. We'll send this one. I can't remember what we've... Oh, so close. So close. One more person. We've got two rockets at Earth. Although one of them was a cargo, so... I think if we could afford, I might, I might start bringing some rockets in with just ten or twelve people on, if needs be, because we need to speed up getting more people. I've got um, research complete. Sixty-seven disabled work slots, fifty vacant work slots. <clears throat> We've got twenty-six non-specialisation, no tourists, twelve botanists. With 11 jobs, 20 engineers with 5 jobs, um, 2 geologists with no jobs, medics 5 with 1 job, scientists 24 with 16 jobs, officers 3 with 9 jobs, um, plus I've got, so I've just built this, um, I was hoping Grown seeds in here, but it doesn't look likely. I'm going to do that an afternoon shift because I've got this one set for a morning shift. Ah, 3D machine printing is done, so let's build one of those. Um, where would that be? Drone assembler. Okay, well, I think. Hmm, well, I guess it doesn't matter. They need people, don't they? To work in, so I think it's got to be within a dome. Yeah, too far from dome, it's got to be. Kind of want it over here, but we haven't built this dome yet, so I think it's going to have to go in here. Okay, we we'll get that built. These leaks are still continuing. Mm, okay. That's fixed now. Just need some metal. Actually, don't do that. I think I will just put a... Do I want to do a universal? These things don't cost. I'll do a universal, we'll turn everything off but metal. 
and uh, we'll just keep it at three and then if we need other things later we can call it in and that way the shuttles bring it over Get that got fixed uh, built I mean of course it needs power Dumpty built it without power Okay, get to work. Oh, just out of range of that. Let's move you over here then. That in range. Yep, 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 yep. yep. Not sure if it's in range to build that, but this will be. Although we don't really need it. We can plan out another. Got one up here ready to go as well. Mm, let's smooth this terrain back here. Okay, pop in that waste rock site. Okay, it will need a concrete storage. There. And it will need some power or connect it up to this. I think I'll do a bit of both. I will get some independent power and we will connect it to the network. The dust storms are crazy. Okay, so that's filling up. We're gonna have another little, another little city blooming down here. Is that repairing now? Good. I actually think I need another drone hub down here, but it's probably not worth building it yet. Um, what I did want to do, this guy is sat here doing nothing. He was, um, So you see, we get this stuff growing. Is that the, yeah, that's the toxic pool. We should go start clearing that up. Do, do, um, because we need to put him to work. Where's the other, there's another guy. There's a couple guys sitting around doing nothing. This guy's actually got no drones. So, let's turn off the night shift here. And they need to make drone prefabs. It's going to take a while. Yep. We've got this guy, he's got no drones. But he's not wasted really, because he's got no drones, so we can put him to use. I need to probably shuffle through all of these and check how many they've got. Um, how's that not connected to power? Okay. That in. Just getting our fuel up again if we're going to start doing all these missions. Right, 
let's send this guy on a mission. Cancel. Is he already assigned? E fueling. Departing Taurus. Now the other rocket's doing that one, isn't he? So can he do this one? I thought we did that one. Maybe not. Let's send him off anyway, keep those going, because we need to get these other numbers moving up. Uh, well, I was going to rebuild this concrete tower. Kind of want it. really hard to get. Moved. That looked the same. Close enough. Yeah, there are only five concrete though, so they look quite nice. We can do others. We'll maybe do one or two beautification episodes once we get things a bit greener and more terraforming going. Where we can. But there's quite a few different types of statues. Like these are the ones. They don't say, I would have thought they would have maybe improved morale or something. But if you click on them, it doesn't actually say that they do anything. Right, uh, let's check these leaks again then. What's happening? Why has this got other I told it. No need to bring metals. It's got the metals, but I guess that leak is out of range. in range of that though so but 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 not in range of the supplies so I'm gonna have to it's kind of a little annoying because you put these up which are quite useful because then you tell it well I'll have a little bit of everything don't need food don't need seeds But then you end up later on having them dotted all around the map, but you can easily move them back to your central storage. Okay, that's getting fixed. I think that's getting fixed. I probably could do really with some independent power down here. I think I will build maybe two of these. It's connected. It's not even connected still. Nice. Well, got to get that little black line. So that I don't know what it is. This one's thirty. Because these can be 25 each, so. 
can give it its own little power in case it gets knocked out further up. Idol Extractor. That would be one of the concrete or metal extractors, I imagine. Okay. And these want machine parts and concrete. So let's put concrete and machine parts. So, bulk of scrubber. Okay, so what's died? This has died. You did a cracking job. Well done. So, it can go now. Have they emptied it? They have. Sector scanned. And I will take out the power because it's not connected to anything. And I will take that out and it will just get moved. So let's have a look at these. That's getting low now. It's quite low as well. Anomalies? Oh, finally. Oh, that's because that got connected. Good, so that's going. How much electricity is that? That's a 60, that one. Yeah. So that's drawing quite and we need to get these built. Upgraded with polymers. Did I upgrade all of these? That one's not. That one's not. I think these ones are. Lovely. Okay, we we really don't have any. Oh, I can do grass now. Wow. Wow. Light and grass. Grass would probably work. I need to change that now on all the others then. I want to do a load down here as well. Let's do, I think further south is this one here. Why has this got an X on it? Got no seeds, that's why. Yes, we are short on seeds, we know that's I can bring some in. Um, where's the other one here? Right, let's do grass. Grass. And you can have grass and grass. And there's another one up here. Grass. Grass. Grass yards. Um, another one. We were getting this to... I need to keep an eye on food. I mean, we're fine. We haven't got a lot of people. But... We switched some of that to... I was hoping this would... I don't know what else does. I'm wondering if the outside farm... Well, we kind of know those ones do. And I can do another one of those, but they're all taking people. Uh, this tree one is just... It's just oxygen. Trees for oxygen. Okay. Right, I did that cedar. I did that cedar did that one and I think that's it we haven't got any more <coughs> further out we've got leaks okay come over here and fix this leak So 
So we're doing this Martian Network Robotics, which is a Spire. Now I've prioritized this, it's a big one, 18,000, but I can put it in the, I can take out that water reclamation in the very first dome we built because we've got the research units in there and the Hawking Institute and this is going to boost all of that. The new spot increases research output of all research labs and Hawking Institutes. Hospital upgrade, remote medic decreases the work slots. So yeah, that will be really good. Are they going to fix that? I'm not sure they are yet. We'll go get some. Maybe. the leak and build Fly some in. I'm not seeing drones. Oh, there we go. Plenty of metal. Now I've upped these all to six. I've got them all going now. So that's good. I will actually, you know, put some to the right up here I think the next the next one would be good to do one down here it's got to bring in the fuel got fuel there yeah so I could probably build a another hub down here starting off with one where would be a good place to put it either here or above the dome. Don't really, I think it, we're gonna have to put it over here so that it's close to these. Can't remember which way around they put the, if we make that, <coughs> Because I'll probably have another five or something there. I need to just connect that with some power. And at the moment we're shuttling in the fuel, but that will be fine. We're not using it for anything else. I could build a fuel refinery down here. But that's going. That is going. Did I build a con yeah, I did build a concrete thing, which is good. That will help supply these. Um, did we put that on grass? We did. And that one. Lovely. Um do I want to really bother connecting this up yet? I mean, we've got loads of concrete, two grand of concrete, but... Probably do it next time. These are probably gonna go out soon. 83, that's down to. This one looks pretty low now. Oh, it was a big deposit though, so it's still got. And these we set up more recently. They weren't big pockets, but
Okay, so this dome is actually going to have some research in it potentially as well because that's got two research. Um, so I might build this dome before I build some of these ones down here. I think the next dome we'll build is, is definitely this one. And, and then maybe this one. And then we'll start going back and doing these ones. Right, let's have a quick look. I think we can end this video roughly around here. Have we got enough passengers now? We have. Eighteen, so we're four short. We need a bit more accommodation. That is fine. We will sort that out. So, yeah, this is going to be a working dome. This is the entertainment dome. I'm thinking that's an education dome at the top there. So one of these is going to be sort of tourism and one of them is going to be for elderly, sort of sanatorium stuff. Probably maybe this one. Uh, I'm not sure about the others yet, but uh, re we really could get the research going. We've got this, uh, so here's the Hawking Institute. Once we get more people, so I'm going to replace this tower with that other one once it is done. Okay, I'm going to probably just chuck in some of these cheap ones. Get them done out of the way. I'm not sure I need that though. Let's do that. Get those done pretty quickly. Yeah, so I think um, looking at the resources, we can probably go ahead and think about building this dome as far as building it and turning it off, and then I can, in the next episode, start to think about what we're going to put in it. We don't need it for people's space. We're, we're already three domes with only... Uh, I think uh, this is going to be a milestone ending video, though, because... With that arrival of people, we will go above a hundred colonies for the first time. Oh yeah. Toxic rain and hitting a hundred colonies. Major, major milestones. So I need a little bit more apartments. Um, let me just think, I can squeeze one in here like a 10. Don't need a lot, although to be honest, we could just put another set of flats in here I wanted to do some of these new ones but I haven't unlocked them yet so they can maybe go on the other side so let's just put one of these in fits here does it look Put it that way, just they look a little bit offset and difference. That should get built in time for the rocket to come in. Uh, another couple, another thing I did, I'll, some of my grocers I hadn't upgraded the service bot, so we've done that. And this spire wasn't on service bot, so I've put that on service bot, so that's freed up some of the workforce so i'm doing it where i can and when we take this out and put the other one in i think it can have service bots um, so i was checking everything that can have service bots just for like delivering the food that's doing seeds quite badly i must say with one person it only does one maximum. I can put more up, of course, but it's a pretty inefficient Anomaly building. Analyzed. Uh, There's more, more text. To the what do we got? Gravity engineering and resilient eye. architecture. Where have they gone in? Resilient architecture. Out of dome buildings require maintenance less often. Gravity engineering. The new mega apartments. Mega dome. So we've got the domes unlocked, so they're 
irrelevant. Fusion auto regulation. I don't remember seeing that one come up. Fusion reactor auto regulator reduces the amount of workers. So either it takes them out completely or less of them. Nice. That will be good. Right. So I think we'll keep this and get this video under the hour. Um, yeah, join me for the next one. So, um, how? Yeah, rocket's not coming in. So next video, we'll get the new colonists in. We've had our first toxic rains. Um, we've got the cedars going like crazy, uh, struggling for uh, seeds. I can bring in a pod of seeds, which I could do, but it's only 10 seeds and costs me like 250 mil. And it's, it's a shame because it can't, it's not quite even the maximum kilograms. So I'm not really sure it's worth doing that. I could probably just build. If I could get auto bots and something like this, I would do these. But I, the only problem I don't want to build a lot more of these is, is I don't want to use the workforce. Um, so what else was doing seeds? Those. So I could build. I mean, they're doing five. So if I had one of these doing five, five, and five, it still takes workforce though. So. We may do that. And that's not uh, doing seed. So yeah, I'll double check uh, the seed output. We'll try and get that uh, increased. And um, going on, we've got the second area coming up pretty nicely. So I think even so I'm going to do, I am going to turn that on. So we've certainly got the materials for it now and get our fourth dome. So we'll do, next video will be fourth dome built, new uh, colonists and some more terraforming. Hope I see you in the next one. And uh, yeah, still enjoying this series. Uh, lots of fun. And don't forget, leave a comment if you want to. And uh, I'll see you hopefully in the next one. Take care, bye.